Let's learn to create a page, a resource in Moodle that allows you to add longer content than you would put in a label. Drop down the Add a Resource menu and choose Page. When the settings page loads, give your page a name. This is what students will click on on your main course page to read the content on your new page. The description field underneath is optional, but it's where you can describe more information about the page. It is not, and I repeat, it is not where you compose the actual page content. This is a description of what the page is for. Beneath the description box, you'll find a spot where you can choose to display this description on the main course page. This is useful especially if your description contains a due date. I'm going to check the box so you'll see it in action. Scroll down and you'll see the page content field. This is where you actually compose the content of your new page. Scroll down and you'll find options such as display the page name on the page itself. What this means is that my page name, all the way at the top, our syllabus, will be shown when users click on the page and begin to read it. This is useful if you'd like to save yourself the time of typing your title over again. You can also display the page description when users are reading the page, if you'd like. Click Save and Display. Here's our title, displayed for me, our description, which may contain important information, and my content falls below. Back on my main course page, you can see that the description is also shown per the settings box that I checked. I can turn that off and on as I need to. Note that on a Compose a web page, you can use the tools of the WYSIWYG editor to make as rich a page as you'd like with images, media, links, and tables. Take advantage of this since you have more real estate in a page than you do in a label. Now you try.